A new phenomenon has arisen on the internet, the YouTube video essay. The YouTube video essay has taken the world and your recommended queue by storm, allowing what once was a realm known only to professional documentary filmmakers to now be occupied by some fucking guy in his bedroom. But what makes the YouTube video essay so compelling? And what are the dark truths behind it all? The YouTube video essay can take many forms, but they all have these things in common. First, the guy making the video also does the voiceover, even though he talks like the nerves in his tongue never fully developed. He is nasal and talks far too slowly. He still manages to mumble or and so, all while trying to imitate the tone and confidence of a professional narrator. This is all done to create the experience of someone condescendingly chewing gum in your ear. Second, all the research for the essay was also done by yours truly in the span of three hours. No sources were cited because I don't know how to put Wikipedia and Reddit comments into MLA format. Third, while I use my own voice, when I present my own opinion in the essay, I will use a cartoon avatar of myself instead of a video of myself talking, or just, you know, not doing that. This is because I am ugly, and secretly wish I looked like a sexy deviant art cartoon. The cartoon is poorly drawn, and lower quality than all the other footage used in the essay, because it's the only part that was made by me. Forcing people to look at this shit arouses me, and makes me feel like the thing I made is on par with all the movie footage that I stole. Fourth. All this is played over Mozart or Tchaikovsky or something. I just googled classical music. Fifth, adding emotional flavor or acting like what you're talking about is more important than it is. It's a great way for people to take the nonsense you're saying seriously. If you don't know how to do this, try reading a John Green novel. Sixth, the shit show of all the previous steps is covered up by spending hundreds of hours on editing. This is the only thing that I can actually do well, because it's the only part that doesn't involve my own content, voice, or opinions. But are all these things what YouTube video essays are all about? Or is there something more, something deeper? Well, the truth is, the YouTube video essay is about all these things. And it's also about you. Please support me on Patreon. I am only making $11,000 a month. Okay, all right, all right. I'll make this brief. Everyone ready? Are you ready? Mickey Mouse Goldfish. Boom. There it is. Here you go. Done. Done. Uh, Cha-ching. Cha-ching. But, uh... They aren't. They aren't. They aren't goldfish. They aren't goldfish. They aren't. Are they goldfish? Are they? Nope. 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 They're Mickey Mouse heads. The kids are gonna go fucking nuts. Okay. All right. Okay. Then why are we calling them goldfish if they're not goldfish? Well, you just gotta use your imagination. Okay. Well, why don't you use your imagination and think of a better name? But we gotta have goldfish in there for the branding. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, if we want to preserve the brand of goldfish, maybe we shouldn't be making goldfish out of Mickey Mouses! All due respect, sir, I think it'd be Mickey Mice. Mickey Mice? Mickey Mice? Mickey Mice? Okay. Now you're onto something. Cheesy Mickey Mice. Cheesy Mickey Mice. It sounds like a disease. Like a sexual disease. Well, I don't know, God damn it. This is your job. I'm just trying to get the ball rolling. How about, how about golden, golden Mickey, Mickey fish? fish? No, 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 they're not fish.
join the Bicycle Booty Boys. We're a gang of dudes who like to play drive-by slap ass on our bicycles. We ride hard and slap ass even harder. If we're in the middle of a ride and we spot an ass, you better believe it's getting the old five-finger flyby. No ass is safe from the Bicycle Booty Boys. That's a fact you can bet your life savings on. Seeking new members. Must possess a keen eye and a strong slapping hand to be eligible for consideration. No preference for any particular kind of ass necessary. We slap ass indiscriminately. Join us today. Hey! You! Stop foot and putting this in the background! This is important! This is a serious presentation made by very talented, skilled people and demands your constant forefront attention! Hello, Billy. Oh, hello, Billy. Why are you calling me on my cell phone telephone? Well, Billy, it is because I am coming over to your house right now, and I was just wondering if I should bring over any tea or coffee. Well, Billy, that is very nice of you. I would like one coffee, please. Okay, Billy, I will get you one coffee. Would you like any cream or sugar on your coffee? Yes, Billy, I would like one cream and one sugar, please. Well, Billy, I'm sorry. I cannot afford getting you both one cream and one sugar. I can only get one or the other. Well, Billy, that's okay. I understand your economic situation. I would like one cream, please. That is good, Billy. I'm good. It's a good thing that you picked a one cream instead of one sugar because sugar is not very good for your health. Yes, I know, Billy. That is why I picked one cream instead of one sugar. Okay, Billy, I'll be over at your house soon with the coffee. Uh, is there anything else I can get you? No, that is okay, Billy. But why are you coming over to my house? Well, I'm coming over because I want to play Xbox with you, and I want to show you my new Minecraft server with my friend who lives in Korea. Wow, Billy, that does sound like really fun. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. attention to this with all of your fucking heart you need to stop what you're fucking doing and pay attention this is so important okay does anyone know our mass shooter policy at this store no mass shooters yes yes okay does anyone know what we do in the event of a mass shooting at this store no okay here's the policy it's very easy to remember. Three words. Run, hide, fight. Got it? That's our policy. Run, hide, fight. Does everyone understand that? It's our policy to run and hide? Run, hide, fight, yes. Run, hide, fight, yes. Run, hide, fight, yes. You run from the mass shooter, you hide from the mass shooter, and then, last, you fight each other for the best hiding spots. Mr. Fucking Winter Cunt, whoever the fuck you are, I, 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 the fuck. We both know if we were in person, I would punch you square in your fucking nose right now. Probably your, probably your nose, maybe your jaw. I'm not really fucking sure yet. If I was feeling nice, I would fucking wind up because I'm fucking twice your fucking size, and I would fucking annihilate you. That's what would fucking happen. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's like Friday now. What the fuck? I lost my weekend now. Christ. Now, now, there's literally so much evidence to prove that I would fucking destroy you. There's so many people 
that are already respected in the NA circles. I, Sammy Boy, I guess he goes by now. Noble Wings. Okay, I'm not. I'm not debating that. See, here's the funniest thing about all of this. It could have stopped if you had waited ten fucking minutes and done any thinking of your own. Any? No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Because I'm going to tell you what a little fucking cretin you are. If you, if at the start of my thread, at the very start of it, if you had taken ten seconds, ten fucking seconds. Or even, t or even maybe 10 minutes. I know that's a really long time for your fucking attention span. But let's say 10 whole minutes. A 10 minute YouTube video. You fucking zoomer, retard, cocksucker, fuckhead. Okay, listen to me. I'm going to take another breath and I'm going to tell you what a fucking moron you are, okay? Because this is how fucking infuriating. I am 25 years old. I'm very successful in a lot of ways. It's really, it's, I'm glad for you. I've said many times throughout our entire, this, like, <laughs> Hey, I seriously, I need to take a breath. I'm going to lay out what a fucking degenerate cocksucker you are. And then you're never going to come to this fucking website again. Because not only are you such a piece of shit, <laughs> I would punch you square in your fucking jaw and you fucking know it. You little sad, sad man. Now just shut up. You've basically eaten an entire fucking week of my fucking free time. And I find that very fucking precious. You can say that's fucking conceited, but if you did a fucking week doing some shit you didn't want to do, you would understand, but you've never fucking done that. You little pussy. You little pussy. Pussy, no man, no balls, fucking pussy. Because you got a fucking job handed to you by your daddy who already did all the fucking work. I'm not saying you don't have connections. I'm not saying you don't have future life prospects. I just want you to not try to ruin my fucking professional life. Because that's what I'm going to fall back on if the fucking stream doesn't work out. Christ! Are you calling me at three o'clock in the morning? Well, Billy, it is because I have just had a nightmare, and I wanted to tell you about the nightmare that I have just had. Well, wow, that is very interesting, Billy, because it is quite a coincidence, because I, I too have just had a nightmare, and I was just thinking about giving you a call. Wow, well, Billy, that is a coincidence. What was your nightmare about? Well, Billy, my nightmare was that you called me at three o'clock in the morning and woke me up from having a good dream. Wow, Billy, that does sound like a bad nightmare. Yes, Billy, and it has not ended yet. was just two very different numbers. Henry? Delilah, you beautiful ancient bitch. I'm gonna fuck you till you're dust, you know that, right? I'm gonna fuck you till you're dust. Get in that bedroom. Get in that bedroom. <laughs> oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. I want you to know. I signed the papers today. This house is yours when I die. And I want you to live in it. And I want you to sleep in my bed. And I want you to hump the pillows. And I want you to hump the pillows every night and think of me. Oh, Delilah. I love you. Delilah? 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 Delilah! Delilah! Thank you. 
Hey, Billy, today I was watching the news, and it was talking about different countries and the problems that they have. And it made me wonder, what country do we live in? Well, Billy, the country that we live in is called the United States of Canada. I will show you where it is on the globe. Oh no, Billy, I have dropped the globe on the floor, and it has shattered into a million tiny pieces. I cannot show you where the United States of Canada is on the globe anymore. That is okay, Billy, because now I know what country I live in, and I have no intention of leaving it. That is good, Billy, because all the other countries are bad and there is no reason to visit them, except for Korea, because my friend Kim lives there and he likes to play Minecraft with me and he is very good. Koreans sure have silly names, don't they, Billy? Yes, Billy, they have silly names like Kim, but that is okay with me because they are very good at playing video games and they can be a good addition to your team when you are playing Call of Duty or Minecraft. I sure learned a lot of new things today, Billy. Thank you for teaching me. That is okay, Billy. I can teach you all the time. Just ask and I have lots of knowledge to share. <laughs> 